Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So I decided to make a new tier list for. Um, well, actually, it's not a new tier list. I don't know if there's actually a tier list for Lineage, um, but or Lineage Red Knights. But maybe on the Korean forum somewhere there's there's a tier list. But I decided to just make one, you know, um, just for 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 the subreddit. Just I think every subreddit defi definitely definitely needs a tier list post. So I decided to just make a tier list because I'm um, I don't know I'm feeling like really really tired. I'm trying to stay awake and stuff. So I, I decided to find something to do. I don't want to like keep recording videos because I'm I'm like super super dumb when I'm when I'm half asleep. I probably shouldn't be making this one when, when I'm half asleep, but it's like I'm probably gonna I I'd rather use my time to to make more videos if I if I um, have the energy to do so. But you know, I'm still recording right now. I'm just trying to <laughs> trying to stay awake, and I, I decide to make this tier list. Um, this is mostly for newer players. It's basically just when you get into the game and you have like maybe you summon some monsters and stuff. You did some pulls, um, and you want to decide which monsters, maybe like farmable monsters, which monsters you want to go for, or um, you know which monsters you want to use on your main team and stuff. So. This is just a very very simple tier list, just going through, um, just rating the monsters based on different parts of the game. So I separated them into different types, you know, magical damage dealers, physical damage dealers, magical tanks, and you know, healers. Five types, um, and I have I have um, I separated them into like you know various parts of the game, story and tower. This is basically normal PVE stuff, Colosseum, which is PVP. Boss raid, which is the the raid, you know, uh, the big giant dragon, and the guild battles, which is the you know just guild battles. This includes the fortress battles. I think um, a lot of it's also defense as well as well as offense. Like just for like mostly like tanks and healers, it's mostly about defense. Um, but a lot of the monsters that like kill and then reset or something like that, um, I rated them pretty high for offense. So I want to talk a little bit about how I rated these monsters. This way, you guys might get a little, like a, a little bit of an idea about how I how I decide to actually rate the monsters. Um, so if you look at some normal monsters, all right, we'll we'll take the first monster for example, the Iron Golem. He's basically he's basically shit. Like he's he's pretty useless. Um, but he is a physical damage tank. Like he has two nukes, and his third skill is a passive skill that reduces um, mat physical physical damage. I think and um, so I'd, basically, I did, I didn't raise him too too high for for story stages. Like he's decent, but he doesn't do that much damage. Um, he also doesn't tank very well, so I I just gave him a B uh, for Coliseum. He only tanks one type of damage, and he doesn't even have that much damage mitigation. So he's he probably dies pretty fast. So I gave him a C. And then for boss raids, he's a tank, so he doesn't do that much damage. I gave him C plus. And for guild battles, I think he's uh, he's. A, probably a little bit better for guild battles because he does give the damage mitigation for his team so this can maybe stall a little bit so I gave him like a B or else I would have still gave him, him a C for this and I gave him a C, C plus overall because like it's kind of like an average but the overall score isn't always an average score it's basically how I would just rate this monster overall like like without thinking of like what I'm using it for um, so obviously monsters that are really really versatile and you can use them in everywhere then obviously they'll get a very very high score um, for example Kurtz like Kurtz is basically the best physical damage tank in the game so I decided to just give him S plus because there's nobody else to give it to um, yeah he's he's really really strong really strong in arena and stuff but he doesn't have like S plus in boss raids because he is a tank but he still deserves the S plus score because he is the the best tank you know um, yeah, so I think it's it's pretty straightforward. I mean, the Stone Golem, like he he has a very very unique skill that you can use him for story stages. So I give him S plus for story. Like you can, without him, there's some stages that you cannot get perfect clear on unless your team is like way 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 stronger. Um, so I, I basically I gave him I gave him an S plus score for for story stages, but he he didn't get that high of a score for anywhere else. Um, but I guess it's fine because he's basically just a just a just a tank um, that only tanks physical damage, and it's kind of the same thing for the spar toy as well. Like this is pretty straightforward, um, and you can you can take a look at the tier list if you're interested. 
and um, yeah, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment or come talk to me on Discord. I'm always pretty much on Discord all the time, and um, I think this will definitely be really, really good if people like con contri contribute because I don't have knowledge on every single monster in the game and there, there are probably a lot of people that use different types of monster in the game that I I don't use so I I can't really be 100% sure um, how to how to rate these monsters so a lot of it like half of it is just theory craft you know just based on um, what what my guildies and I have talked about and also what, whatever I've read on on forum so, so that's pretty much it um, Thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, you definitely, definitely check it out if you're if you're if you're new to the game. Um, if you happen to come across this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.